I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Hey everybody, Donkey here, and welcome to my review on Hellblade, Cinema's Sacrifice. What I'll do is I'll go through my likes and dislikes and break those down for you and give you my final opinion on if this is a game I think you might like. You know, I really enjoyed my time with Hellblade. I enjoyed the fact that it had a really good story. I enjoyed, uh, for the most part, you know, the, the puzzles in the game and, of course, you know, the, the bosses. Uh, I thought that they were very well done. Seven hour mark as far as the time that it took me to complete it. And a lot of this is going to depend on how much time you spend in the game. If you end up going through, taking your time, looking at... Uh, just the environments, the environmental effects, and then taking in the atmosphere as a whole. I mean, this is a linear game. I can't emphasize that enough. This isn't an open world game to where you, you know, can select your mission. I mean, this is a, really a story-based game. So it's one of those to where without the story, I think this game would probably be hard for it to survive or do well because it's so centered around the story itself. The, the sound, if you don't know, and I recommend playing this with um, a headset, it's a binaural audio. Um, so for those of you that don't know, binaural is the meaning of, or the method of recording sound that uses two microphones. So basically they arrange it with the intent of creating a 3D like stereo sensation for the listener. Uh, if you were to use a, a pair of head, you know, headset or headphones, I did use headphones on this game. I recommend if you have the ability to do that, it just adds so much more to the game in itself. So with that said, let's take a listen. They can break you. But not your promise. Even death will keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. And lonely. So uh, being that it is linear um, and it is story based, there is puzzle solving that you have to do and there is some light sword play that you have to do. The, the way that the game is set up is going to be more of like a God of War type of game to where you go into one area, fight some enemies, uh, figure out some puzzles, some challenges, open up a non-accessible door to get through to the next area, rinse and repeat, and you do the same thing over and over until you get to the boss of that set level and or area and then beat it and move on to the next. So the things that I liked in the game, break them down real quick, is going to be the graphics, the gameplay, uh, I enjoyed the sound and the story of the game. Uh, I did like the fact that you could change the setting on the PS4 Pro, which is what I played it on, 30 FPS, I believe that's what it was running at, to 60 Hertz, which changes that to a 60 FPS. Um, unfortunately, on the regular PS4, you're, you're locked in at 30 FPS. As far as the graphics, the environmental effects in the game were absolutely stunning. I mean, you go from dust blowing to raindrops pelting the ground to leaves blowing around. Um, basically a fire embers that are floating through the air in certain stages. I mean, the fire was probably some of the best 
that I've seen in a game. I mean, and no kidding. And this stuff will look really, really good. Uh, the gameplay had, you know, smooth combat. Uh, there were some slight frame rate hiccups as you progress through certain areas. You, you might notice some pop-ins or, again, the, the hiccup of the frame rate. It kind of might stutter a little bit. And that was even on the uh, 60 hertz or 60 FPS on the Pro. I still saw this. Was it enough to affect my gameplay? Not really. I mean, I still enjoyed it overall. My dislikes in the game... I thought there were just too many ruined challenges. I, I really felt like they needed to do more balancing in this area. Uh, overall, it just felt like it, it kind of took over from the battle aspect of it, from the sword play. I wanted a little bit more of that, and that, that was another issue that I had. I just felt like overall, yeah, it was a six to eight hour game. I just wanted more of it. I, there are no um, you know, upgrades for leveling up your character. Uh, there's no leveling up weapons or armor. There isn't. There are no armor types or weapon types. Uh, the game is very linear in fashion, as I mentioned earlier. You, you only have five or six different types of enemies throughout the game, and there are no finishing moves, so you're not gonna get any cool decapitations or anything like that. With all that said, and even though I, I dislike some of those aspects, and I felt like they could have added more of those to the game, I really still feel strong, strongly that this game, a $29.99 price point, is a game well worth what you get. I would love to see more of these kind of games in the future. So that's pretty much it. I say that this is a game that I would go out and purchase if you definitely like this type of game and you like the kind of lore. You know, do me a favor, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree with my, you know, thought on, on the game itself? And let me know what your experiences were. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Y'all have a great week and y'all peace out. Does not that look like the gift of battle takes its place? But so it goes. Until we fall. In the end, we all fall. <laughs>